today, my topic is about climate change. What is climate change? Climate change refers to any significant change in the measures of climate lasting for an extended period of time. In other words, climate change includes major changes in temperature, precipitation, or wind patterns, among other effects that occur over several decades or Talking longer. about climate of Malaysia, Malaysia is located in the equatorial region. The average rainfall is 250 cm a year and the average temperature during January is 27 degrees Celsius. But in March, it has been rise and has been recorded an average 28 degrees Celsius. The wettest month in Malaysia on the west coast are May to October, while on the east coast are September to December. Malaysia faces two monsoon wind seasons. That is the southwest monsoons that occurs from late May to September and is originating in China and the North Pacific. The second is the northeast monsoon that occurs from November to March and it originates from deserts of Australia. It also brings in more rainfall compared to southwest monsoon. Speaking of the cause of climate change, when fossil fuels, coal, oil and natural gas are burned, they release CO2 into the atmosphere. Because of this layer of greenhouse gas is getting thicker, which is in turn making the earth warmer, thus the ongoing unlimited burning of fossil fuels is one of the reasons cause of climate change. Next, I would like to talk about the effects of seasonal rainfall in Malaysia. It occurred from 15 December 2014 to 3rd January 2015. Locations are in Johor, Kedah, Kelantan, Negeri Sembilan, Pahang, Perak, Perlis, Sabah, Sarawak, Selangor, and Terengganu. 21 were killed in the flood and over 560 million of property were damaged. History and records tell us that flooding in Malaysia occurs frequently in Malaysia in 1971, 1998, 2006, 2007, and 2014. Kelantan, Terengganu, and Pahang recorded monthly total rainfall more than 1,200 mm. The highest rainfall among amount was recorded at Cebu at 584.0 mm. The highest number of rain days were 27 days recorded at Kota Bau. Talking about the solutions, man-made lake is a normal method used in Malaysia. Thus, Lakes are placed to retain waters and release them in a rate that is predetermined. It can also be used as recreational areas. Other than that, man-made fresh water swamps are used in Putrajaya to manage surface water flow. Swamps contain more water compared to lakes. In swamp areas, a variety of plants can improve the quality of water in the swamps. 